And welcome back. I hope you've all been doing well. We have a short video tonight on installing and maintaining Proton GE. And we're going to do this through a terminal install of Proton Up, which is a utility that allows you to install, as you might have guessed, Proton GE. Much simpler than having to go to the repository. And I'm also going to show you how to install Proton Up QT, which is basically a GUI tool that allows you to manage and maintain your Proton GE versions. But before diving into that, I want to take a quick couple of moments here to kind of talk about what Proton and Proton GE are, and then we'll jump into the install and then wrap it up. So in a very short video, and I hope that some of you find this uh, helpful. I've already made a couple of slides to cover Proton and Proton GE, so uh, I'm not a developer, uh, quick disclaimer. Uh, so there are some of you out there who are developers, and if I'm getting something wrong, please leave a comment so I can get better and uh, learn as I go as well. So Proton essentially is a compatibility tool developed by Valve and Codeweavers, and that should say Valve and not Steam. I just caught that just now. It was originally released in 2018, and it maintains a variety of different libraries and wrappers to include DXVK and Direct3D to Vulkan. So thinking about an analogy on how to explain this to someone who has no idea what, what a compatibility layer is or what a wrapper does, the best analogy that I can come up with as someone who is not a developer is to think of it this way. English to Spanish, or Spanish to English, or any language to another language. So imagine yourself being in an office and you have a task to do. You have a job to do, and you can't do that task because you don't have the information that you need to complete that task. Another person in the office does, but they only speak Spanish or Japanese or Korean or Russian or whatever language. So you need a translator. You need somebody to get between you two, take the information in Spanish, translate it into English, then give you that information so you can apply that information to complete your task, to get a result. That's the best way that I can explain it. That's how I understand it. So if there's anybody who uh, has a better analogy or can go into more detail, uh, please drop it in the comments below again so I can learn and get better myself. So with Proton out of the way, Proton GE is a compatibility layer based on Proton. It's really essentially a fork of the original Proton. It's developed by a very talented individual named Glorious Abril, who is also the same individual who has developed and maintains Nabara Linux, and it does improve upon Proton in many ways. So if you have a game where the cutscenes aren't working with Proton, with standard Proton or Proton Experimental or one of the older versions of Proton, try Proton GE. There's a good chance it may work. And I do believe that speaking of Nabara, I want to say that it's based off of Fedora. Um, I'm 99.99% .99 sure it is, but let me check real quick. And I do not have Nabara. I do not have a Nabara machine installed. I thought I did. It might be on my laptop. Okay, but anyway, I'm 99.99% .99 sure that it is based off Fedora. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's jump in and go through our terminal install of Proton Up. So we want to open up a terminal, and the first thing we want to do is do a quick update. So sudo apt update, put in our password. Okay, we're going to clear that out. Now we want to type in sudo apt install python3 hyphen pip, pip. And I already have the newest version installed, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next. And we're going to do pip3 install proton up. And I already have it installed, so this is. The process will go through the installation process for you, but again, I already have it installed, so it's kind of uh, a little bit faster for me. Next one, type in source, tilde, forward slash dot profile. This is going to add the path for our use. And that's it. So we can close out of, uh, close out of our terminal. And now if we want to install the latest version of Proton GE, we just type in Proton Up. And Proton, or GE Proton 9-2 is already installed. All right, so how do we install the Proton Up QT? Let's go to our pop shop. And type in Proton. And there it is. So click on the install. It'll install it. I think it's a few hundred K. It's not very large. We can close it out. And let's give it a little test spin. 
So again, I already have it installed. So I'm going to go to my game folder, open up Proton Up QT, and here it is. So I'm going to maximize this. Well, it doesn't really do anything. So you can see here the versions of Proton GE that I have installed already, in, including some runtimes for Proton Battle Eye and Proton Anti Cheat. You can add a version by clicking on Add, and then selecting uh, different compatibility tools here. Uh, you can click uh, your different versions of Proton GE. So there's kind of an archive here going way back to 6.21 GE2. And you can also, so you can install your versions of uh, Proton GE here without having to use a terminal. I just like using the terminal. And show games list. It'll show you uh, some of the games you may, have, you may have installed already. So we have the compatibility tool that, I, that is currently assigned to that particular game. So you can see for EverQuest 2, I have Proton Experimental, Hitman, Proton Experimental, American Truck Simulator, Proton Experimental. And I've got uh, Proton, or GE Proton 8-32, which is a little bit of an older version for Ready or Not. If you want to see if for the Proton, uh, Proton DB, we talked about that before in a previous video, you can click on it, it'll tell you if it's gold, platinum, or if it's borked. You can see most of these are gold and platinum. And this is for the Steam Deck, obviously, but it's very handy for Pop! OS and other Linux distributions as well, because again, if it works in, on Steam Deck, chances are very good it's gonna work on whatever Linux install you have going. And we have deck compatibility here, uh, different anti-cheats, so if you click on this, it should open up a browser. Or are we, are we, are we anti-cheat yet? Dot com and you can go through different games here to see if it's supported or not based off the anti-cheats. So some of these games have anti-cheats like Fortnite, Battle, uh, Battle, Battlefield 2042, uh, Valorant, Denied, Paladins is kind of broken, Rainbow Six Siege, one of my games is uh, Denied, can't play it in Linux just yet, but there are a lot of games that are supported that do have anti-cheats. But again, for Linux gaming, the anti-cheats are the bane of our existence. And it's not because of Linux, it's because the developers refuse to support Linux. All right, so that's it. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I hope you find this helpful. And I do want to share with you the source of the information where I got this kind of how-to guide. The information I got was from System76 itself. So for those of you who are uh, looking at to install Pop! OS, if you go to, or if you just curious or interested, if you go to uh, pull up a search engine and type in Pop! OS Gaming, it'll bring you to supportsystem76.com. It'll be the first link in the results. And you can read through this here, Gaming on Pop! OS from System76. Again, it's really, really insightful, or there's a lot of insight into this that you can get from it. A lot of good information, especially if you're new. It talks about Steam, uh, installing Steam from the Pop! Shop, installing Steam from the command line, Installing Steam from the terminal, or which is the command line. Um, enable Steam Play for Proton. Just a lot of really good information here. A lot of guides and tips for gaming on Pop! OS. It's very handy. And this is where I got the information that we just went through. Installing Proton Up. Uh, it even covers Lutris, which is down here a little bit. And we'll be covering Lutris in a later video towards the end of the Steam Library playthrough. So again, very handy. Uh, very good resource for information and guides, so I encourage you to check it out. Uh, and kudos to System76 for making this, because it's extremely user-friendly, and it explains things in a way that new users, or those who are curious, can quickly pick up on. All right, so that wraps up this video. And I do want to mention that I have another video coming out, which is installing and configuring Mango HUD. Uh, a, a viewer asked for that, so I'm currently working on that. I'm also working on episode 13 of our Steam Library playthrough. And then I'll be uploading on Sunday our Sunday Siege play with a friend of mine, Zodiac. So that'll be up on Sunday. And then I'm going to take a couple days off, just kind of relax a little bit and mess around with my Steam Deck. I'm currently addicted to Dirt Rally. I can't, I can't put it down for some reason. And I also installed um, Armored Core 6. So I've been playing that quite a bit. That's also a fantastic game. And I'll have to add that to the episode 13 for our Steam Library playthrough because I did buy it recently and we didn't cover it uh, when we covered the A's going alphabetically down our Steam list. But anyway, so I babbled on long enough. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.